welcome back to BB Wags Minecraft Musings. This is episode two, and I'm very glad that you have come back to join me once again. As you can hear there in the background, we have that same spider that we need to find and kill. Because as you recall, I do not like spiders. And we're gonna see how fast we can do this. If I, if there doesn't end up being a cave that we can open up into while we're um, taking care of the coal here. I'm not going to dig too far because we do have daylight out there and it's best to go into the um, underground when it's nighttime because then you know when it's nighttime there's monsters roaming around up, up top and uh, then you know it makes more sense to go down below where daylight doesn't really matter. So that spider is really loud and there's a lot of coal here. And there's that pig. He's right up above our heads there. One thing I want to do is I want to explore on the overworld a little bit. See if we can find some sheep. I want to make a bed. Beds are always very nice and handy to have. Because then you can pretty much just skip over the night time. You just go to sleep and skip over it. But at least we're getting ourselves lots of coal here. We may not break through. We may not break through to where that spider is. But let's see here. If we don't break through, that is okay. We will find a way down there before too long. If you hear that sound right there, that means that we are very close to a cave. So, let us let us just dig a little ways here. Now one thing, one problem I kind of have is that if you look at the bottom panel there where I have all my tools, the rightmost one is well, that's a sound. Is my pick and my... Oh, there... Ooh. There's a spider. We're in the ceiling. Well, we can't get down there. And I'm not inclined to build the stairway down right now. So he's right there. And I think he's just going to have to stay there. So, what we're going to have to do is... Plug that back up. That way nothing can get up to us. We know that there's a cave down there, so we can come back to it whenever we want to. And, um, wow. How do we get back up? There we are. And we're going to go up here. Oh, it's, uh oh, it's going to be nighttime. So we need to get ourselves. Oh, this is a horrible situation. <laughs> we have a situation here where I can't quite block myself in, and it's going to be quite boring because there's nothing to do back here but I can't go out there because it's dark and there's going to be monsters out there and I just have a wooden sword and no armor and <laughs> that's bad well not all is lost what we can do is we can build another crafting table and we can plop that down right there and we can get some more stone here three stone will be enough to make a little bit better of a pickaxe. So now we have a stone pickaxe. And you know what, let's, well, let's, um, let's get some more stone to make a second pickaxe. Because we're going to have plenty of materials for torches. And we will have everything that we need for a couple of stone pickaxes so they won't break and run out on us and so if we can get down below and we can get some iron if we can find some iron that will do us really good here so it's kind of a kind of a tricky situation here because quite honestly I don't have any armor uh, I don't have great tools and equipment where did where where did you come from did um, did you crawl in through there? Oh my goodness. Well, you are one persistent pig. Alright, well, we're going to see if we can't go down here. See if we can't join up with... See if we can't join up with that cave. That spider will continue to let us know of its presence. There's some more coal. So that's good, I suppose. Yep, I hear you, spider. And here we go. Now, one thing that I wanted to do last time, 
that my daughter, when she watched last episode, uh, she was very excited to do so because she loves Minecraft. She loves Paul Soares Jr. And she's watched probably every single episode he's ever made. She was very excited to think that her dad had made an episode similar to Paul Soares. So that was pretty cool. But one thing she said is, Dad, you told us that you were going to introduce yourself, and you never actually introduced yourself. So while I'm doing, ooh, well, I would say while I'm doing some mundane things like just digging through the dirt and the stone here, I would take the opportunity to do that. But this is no longer mundane because we just got down here to where we can get down into this cave. All right, now I'm going to take some damage here. I'm pretty sure, because that spider's around there. Get the sword. Aha! Die, you spider! Ha ha ha! And he gave us, he gave us some string, because of course all spiders have string for their webs. We will light things up as quickly as we can. Obviously, you hear another spider out there someplace. Oh! Oh dear! That would be one of those bow and arrow skeletons right there it whizzed right past my head did you see that oh good grief so let's go this way and I heard a zombie groan a moment ago so there's gotta be a zombie in here as well this is just a nice Swiss cheese man I remember when I first started to play this game I used to be scared to death to come down in here to these caves all these sounds. I know there's coal all over the place, but I'm just kind of checking things out here. Whatever, that sounds like really small feet. Like, I don't know what that is. Oh, the pig followed me down in. Alright. Well, we're going to keep on going here. We have to find ourselves. We have to find ourselves some iron. We really, really do. And it's hard to swim up against the current. How annoying is that? But what we can do is when we get to the top here, we can plug this up. Swim, swim, swim. Alright. Bam. That'll make that easier. You hear that sound? Oh! What is that? Grass. That's what that is. That's a tree! Well, that's a tree sticking up out of the cave here. So, uh, there must be a spider up on top of the ground there. Hmm. Well, that is interesting. But I think this way is blocked by the tree, so we don't have to worry about anybody following us down there. So we go back down through here. I cannot believe that we've not found any iron. Is it, or, no, there we go. I lie. There's some iron. Let's open. Let's light this up. All right. So there's iron up top there. Good, good, good. Now we can get that. And then we can make an iron pick. And we find if we find enough, then we can make iron armor and make all of our tools out of our armor. Unfortunately, there it seems to be just the three pieces. But it's enough for a pick. Well, down here, that is where that is where that skeleton was. But maybe he went away. So let's continue this way. see what we run into because it's possible to run into a lot of stuff in any case you see that I'm actually putting the torches always up on the right hand side of the wall if you do that then you can always find your way back the way you came because then just orient yourself so that all of the torches are on the left wall and that way you can go back you always know where you came from so that's something I again learned from Paul Soros Jr. And there's some more iron, so let's light this up down here so that no baddies sneak up on us. And we'll go back and we'll get that. That's a new sound. There, I told you last time, there's a lot of stuff that they put in new here that I didn't know was here. A lot of sounds, a lot of gribblies, a lot of creatures. And some of it is somewhat disconcerting. So we'll have to learn out what some of that stuff means in a little bit. Anyway, we're going to grab this iron here. And then we are probably going to head back up top and we're going to see if it is light out or not because I really want to do some searching around, some exploring on the surface. <clears throat> All right. So putting the torches on our left, there is 
just to light that up a little bit. Hey, bat! There's some more iron. And uh, then we'll head back up to the surface, see how things are going. All right. Nice situation if we can block up wherever that water is coming from. There we go. Hey, and uncover some more iron. Yes. Oh, the seeds are not going to pound through there. All right. Now we're in a good situation. Continuing on. It's hard to go against the flow. All right. Back up to our little hidey hole. Here we are. And we're going to block that up just for just for safe measure. Just to make sure nothing can sneak up through here. All right. It, it is still nighttime out there. So what we're going to do is we come over to our crafting table. We're going to make ourselves a stove and we can cook iron. And that will give us iron ingots and then we can use those iron ingots to make better stuff. So we look forward to that. Now, one thing I really want to do um, when the sun comes back up is I want to make sure. Oh, and it is. All right. Oh, there's another spider. Come on. Come on, spider. There we go. Ah, ha, ha. Okay, excellent. All right. Now we have daylight here, and that's good. That is much easier to work with because there isn't going to be as much stuff hanging around. And there's those pretty flowers again. Excellent. Now while our iron is baking down below, we can do some reconnaissance. We can take a look around here, see what we have available. If this is just a little hill here, see what's on the other side. Ooh, that's very nice. All right. We have ourselves on a very, very nice area. Now one thing I want to do, there's some more pigs. Oh, there's a skeleton. First look at a skeleton. Ah, now usually they burn, they they catch flame in the daylight. But he was standing underneath of a tree, so he's in the shadow. So he wasn't, he wasn't, uh, he wasn't catching a uh, catching a flame. All right, so we have the the desert over there, which at some point we'll venture out into there because there might be a desert temple out there. But in the uh, meantime, it's almost like we have a mountain oasis right here. We got the river on the other side, all these pretty flowers. We have some high ground here that we could perhaps put our house on. And uh, hmm, we'll, we'll search that out a little bit. And then the NPC village over to the other side, of course. Now, the one thing I'm a little bit disappointed we're not seeing is we are not seeing any horses and so many pigs, but no sheep. Um, now, I know that there was cows and chickens back at the NPC village, but I was hoping it was going to be some closer to us. Oh, well. Well, we're just going to do a little bit of scouting around here. We're going to ignore the pigs for right now and see what we see off over here to this side. And as I kind of scout around, as I look uh, just to see what is in the vicinity, see what kind of animals and everything we have available, let me just tell you a little bit about myself. I grew up uh, enjoying fantasy books. And I think that one of the reasons is because of my uncle. Now, my uncle... Um, would role play and he would be the game master or if you play Dungeons and Dragons he would be the dungeon master um, but he would play the fantasy trip or a system called GURPS or whatever else the the game might be but he had played for years and years and years with a bunch of hey there's some sheep with a bunch of different people and uh, so he had these worlds that were just full of stories, you know, adventures that had already been played there. And so he would just relate these adventures to me and my cousin and my brother when we were kids. And I just loved it. I loved it so much because I could picture all the stories that he was telling us. Uh, don't be upset with me. I have to kill the, the sheep. I don't have shears yet to shear them and get their wool. So this is the only way I can do it. But we have enough to, to make some more sheep. So don't worry about that. And three, three wool is all I need. So there we go. So I won't hurt anymore. Um, but anyway, so he would tell all these stories, and then when I got old enough, I was actually allowed 
to play the role-playing adventures myself, you know, make a character and all that kind of stuff. The same type of thing that you would do on a computer, only you're doing it pen and paper with, um, you know, a map out in front of you on a table. And I just loved it. It was so wonderful because um, you, you just let your imagination just run absolutely wild. It was terrific. And uh, so from there, my love for fantasy gaming just developed. And, uh, of course, reading uh, fantasy books, um, uh, C.S. Lewis, The Chronicles of Narnia, Tolkien's Lord of the Rings, of course, which has become even more popular in the last several, you know, ten years or so with the with the movies, and uh, even you know Dungeons and Dragons stuff like the Dragonlance Chronicles. Uh, I think it's Tracy Hickman and and uh, somebody else I forget who wrote those, um, but you know all that stuff is just fabulous. Um, just in the worlds that it opens up. Now, of course, there's a problem there. You know, you can get really obsessive about that. And I have to admit, when I was a kid, I ended up being fairly obsessive about uh, that stuff. I'd rather have lived in those fantasy worlds rather than live in the real world. Um, but as I've grown up, I realize just how cool the real world is, all that the Lord has offered to us. And uh, so that's not quite so much a problem anymore. And I'm, I'm glad that I kind of overcame that because there is an awful lot of awful lot of entertainment value in games like this. You just have to make sure you don't become obsessive about it. And, uh, well, I'm getting a little bit low on food there. So, okay, so here's our iron. Put some potatoes in there and uh, put some coal in there. So that'll give us some tater tots. I was getting a little bit low on the food. Um, so let's see here. Iron pick axe. Make ourselves an iron sword. That's a good start here as well. I gotta rearrange things a little bit. But it, <clears throat> but anyway, so that's how I got into the whole idea of gaming was through my uncle and reading and everything like that. And I just it's just a wonderful pastime. Um, you know, people la label it nerdy or whatever. That's eh, whatever. That's fine. Some people play sports. Some ple people uh, read. They do whatever, and this is what I do. It's it's easy, you know. You fire up Minecraft, and then when you're done, you turn it off, and uh, then you go do stuff that's more important. Because certainly uh -huh. there are things that are more important, but this game can really fill in the gaps sometimes, and it's good. Um, anyway, so that is a little bit about me, how I got into gaming and everything. And at a later time, we'll talk a little bit more about. Um, what it means to be a pastor and, and a gamer. A lot of people think that you can't, you know, do fantasy stuff. You can't um, do anything that involves magic if you're if you're a, uh, a Christian, and certainly if you're a pastor. And and you know you have to be careful about that because the Bible says some pretty uh, pretty serious stuff when it comes to sorcery and everything. Um, and uh, but we'll we'll deal with that at a later time here. But uh, just getting some pork chops for us. There's plenty of pigs all over the place. And uh, yeah, so all right, so we have our, our wool, we have plenty of food here, and we'll head back to the little hidey hole, and uh, yeah, make sure I'm going in the right direction. Head back to the little hidey hole, pick up our tater tots that we've uh, cooked or baked, and then we'll throw the pork chops in there, and then that'll give us a bunch of food that we can go and adventure and have plenty of uh, supplies for us. Leap, all right. Wow, okay, there's some iron down there. Big cave, we'll have to check that out in a little bit. And, uh, yes. So, what I'm thinking we need to do is probably off camera, I will do a little bit of house cleaning. If I can find my home. There we are. Do a little bit of house cleaning. Just kind of uh, get us, get myself organized. It's, uh, it's actually a much harder than I anticipated it would be to actually talk and play at the same time. And you're probably saying, well, yeah, it's, you're, you're just babble on on and not really say anything worthwhile. It's like, uh, maybe that's the case. You know, i got to learn how to do this a little bit better. Um, but if when that being the case, then uh, I will do some of the more mundane things off camera. And then what I want to do is I want to gather up the... the uh, pigs, I want to gather up some sheep, I want to go into that town and gather up some chickens, find some cows someplace, and bring them all back to the vicinity here, build some fences and some pens, build myself a little ranch. Build ourselves a little ranch, that way we can uh, get the animals procreating, so we have an unending supply of food and leather and feathers and all that kind of stuff, and then 
we will see what we can do in terms of building the house, where we want to do that, how far we want to go down below the ground here, because there's the farther down you go, of course, the more neat stuff there is, also the more baddies there are. And uh, so we will take a look at that. And I'm definitely going to eat some of those baked potatoes. My food is getting really low right there. And there we go. So, well, that pig is just kind of wandering around there. So, I think the last thing we're going to do here is we're going to take that down. We're going to put it back up here. And we're going to make ourselves... Oh, no. I was going to say, we're going to make ourselves a proper door, but we don't have enough wood for that. So, let's go and get another tree, chop another tree down. I probably ought to cut some stairways down closer so I don't have to go through that little whole channel the whole time. And of course I can make myself an axe because that would be a whole lot easier than just continuing to beat on this wood with my fist or a torch or something like that. But uh, here we are. Alright, that should be enough. Yep, that'll be enough and we'll go down here. And I think I'm going to sign off now. But uh, when you come back, I will have installed a door in our little hidey hole, which is right there. And we will continue on and probably head down into the great unknown below us. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and take care.